The scores have dropped accordingly. If one player drops and the other doesn't finally, then it'll definitely decide it. And Mousies is going to be the one who drops right here at the end. Barely any combo left in the map. Raikaho is still holding on to 350 combo. And that is not going to be it. Raikaho dropping on the ending stack. And he completely missed taps. He can't get back on. Note locking that pattern is just death. And it drops his score. The way that Scorvy 2 very quickly, and look, the accuracy now has pretty much evened out. It's a lot of act for Takito, and now it's within a thousand score for both players. The ending of this map is going to decide everything here as we get within 5k for both of them. Utami just needs to hold on to the accuracy, to the combo for a little bit where Takito drops once, and he's, he'll be able to take a break point. Takito, on the other hand, absolutely needs to hold and does through that space stream where Utami drops, widens up the score lead, and is able to secure that second point, 2-2, two to two on this map. And if you look at the scores yesterday, you expect them to be close, but not quite that close. 25k all decided at the very end of the map is incredibly close between those two players. It came down to just a couple of ending streams, and that was it. They are both delivering on those scores from yesterday. Both of them, I believe, topping their scores from yesterday. Yeah, both of them topping their scores from yesterday to get it that close between the two of them. Full combo three quarters of the way into the map. Kingling has combo here. If he can hit the wiggle streams, if he can hit this ending section, it's unlikely that Utami actually hits the entire ending section with the way that the wiggles play out in this one. Where's the one third stream? They both actually hit it. Utami drops a lot of accuracy. Kingling still holding on to the accuracy, still holding on to the combo. Is he going to be able to finish it out? It is. It's Kingling at the end of the map, able to hold on to the combo. The shakes from Utami, the drops on the accuracy, the drops on the combo on the doubles wiggle stream at the very end are enough to drop the score and put Kingling over the edge. He holds on to the combo through the entire second half of the map. That's actually insane from Kingling. That's the first time we've seen anyone hit the entire second half. And it is, I don't want to say expected, but a damn good performance from Kingling on that double time pick. That is why he picked that map. Weird section. That's kind of weird. Both players hitting that back and forth and comboing through that section, actually. Nice stuff. Most of the... Uh, Which is point. something that's good for drag bit here. But it's going to be close. It's 40k. It's going to be closing. Dragbit has to hold his combo, though. It's 30k now. We're going to go down to that Bocci 20k misses. soon. Oh Bocci's, my god. This might actually be it right here. There's a stream at the end. Oh, yes! oh no, but look Dragbit. at the time. Oh. It did the stream. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Not really a speed pick. 261 BPM and AR 10.3. It's all focused on those jumps. And now we've seen both of these players pretty confident overall on the Ryan. Neither of them breaking before the second half of the map. It is that very, very early miss for Mouse Easy. Still haunting him right now. Down about 30,000 score. And 0.3% app on Fire Rage. Lots of act drop for Fire Rage. And Miss Reads drops the combo as well because of that. Mouse Easy able to hold during that section onto both the combo and the accuracy. And that's really the drop that Mouse Easy needed during one of the mechanically easier parts of the map. Fire Rage with the Miss Read drops the combo. And Mouse Easy now can rest a little easy going here into the last key eye. We do get a couple more slider breaks that come through for Utami. It drops the act below 99 for a second. He's able to pick it right back up. But more importantly is the combo lead that's now been built up for Takedo. While Utami has been dropping a few misses here and there through the middle of the map, Takedo has been able to just silently hold on to this giant combo over on the right-hand side of the screen is just still going through that massive stream. Finally drops there on a jump. But at this point, that lead is just insurmountable. There's no map left. 100k up for Takedo at the end of this map. And Ak be damned, he is going to win this one for sure. Too many misses from Utami into the second half of the map. And too much combo held for Takedo for that breakpoint to go over. He is keeping it 4-4. Four to four. No breakpoints today. Combo from Utami. He's got a sizable lead. 60k up on Takedo here. 
on Hard Rock 4. Takedo with the combo lead, however, does have a chance to bring this back, especially with these repeated breaks coming through for Utami. I think that score and that high combo actually got to his head as well because Takedo now less nerves, it looks like, less shakes going into the second Ki time here and is able to hit the majority of this Ki time as well now. So is going to be able to stage the comeback against that early big combo from Utami, Takedo getting his own big combo in the second half of the map, while Utami unfortunately just falls apart here by the end, dropping so many misses, so many hundreds at the end of the map. Takedo able to pull out the combo needed to match, or almost match, that of Utami, and hold on to the Ak as well in the first half of the map. That's really where a lot of that score difference comes from, is the difference in consistency on the first half for Takedo versus the second half for Utami when they... when each of them was unable to hold combo. I was about to say that needs a bit of more breaks for Misty. Yeah, if Misty loses a bunch of score from missing, maybe. Yeah, I don't think with that. That is his mouth. Oh, slider break! Oh. No, that might have just sealed it. Oh, yeah. It was so close to Takedo, though. I guess we wouldn't be able to see the tiebreaker for this match. Wow. Misty really going god mode after having a lot of lost confidence in himself. Yeah. Well, unfortunately... Yeah, unfortunately, for Takedo. No tiebreaker this time. Weird. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Zero one hundred from Takedo though. And that is going to be the full combo for Utami coming out here. I'm going to call it early. He hits the... Uh, no, nope, he doesn't. He doesn't. Fantastic ending for Utami there. Able to pull out the five... Seven miss. Seven miss at the end of the map. Ah... <laughs> uh. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Yeah, uh, Utami with 900k on that compared to 400k from Kingling. I mean, it's 15 miss, 300 combo from Kingling, almost the FC from Utami. There's very clear. You know, he's done all he needed to do, 100k score difference, and, like, uh, no one's comboing this part, probably. Yeah, it's so sad for Fancy Lad, because he did miss the first ladder of the, what? like, of the intro. So. What's Kuna doing? I don't understand how to do it. I'm like... I'm watching one of the players just like miss and I'm like, absolutely you missed that. And then I'm watching one of them hit it and I'm like, how did he hit it? Incredible scenes coming out of the right now. And yeah, you can just see yeah. how ridiculous this tech map is. This is, that was 400k that was a good from pick. Tuna. That is ridiculous. That's, that's Tuna saying, hey, I think I can get 400k on this map and that should be enough. And it just was. We're at that late of a tournament where you could be proud with a 400k score and be like, yep, this should hold strong. So, wow. There actually is quite a lot of combo built up for Kingling here at the end of the map. Utami does have combo as well, but he finds a miss at the end here. Kingling is holding on to the combo. The consistency is actually there here at the end of the map, but he overaims a single tap right after a slider. It looked like it was going to be close there at the end, but Kingling just unable to hold on through the very end of the map. If he had held through the entire end of the map, there was a chance that it could have gone to tiebreaker. But it's just not meant to happen here. Kingling is going to meet his end here 6-4 to four against Utami. It was three wins in a row for Kingling during that match. But it's five in a row here 
for Utami to close it out successfully. Very strong two break points in a row from Utami, along with three successful picks. And that combo lead, but now with intercamming taking the combo lead back over, you know, 1.3% accolade is not enough to make up this sort of combo difference. It is about 100 combo advantage to Utami. It's going to get pretty close at the ending if he can FC the last bit of combo here. But I... Oh, wait! A chain miss for Kamming. Is that enough to open the door back up for Utami in the last few seconds? That chain miss drops some score, drops some accuracy. The spinner is going to decide it here. And it is going to go to inter Kamming by 241 points. 250, excuse me, 251 points. Yaoki, okay. 351 points? Where is my score? 351 points. That is about as close as it gets. The spin to win almost brought it back over to Utami. Almost. <laughs> Just not quite. <laughs> that was, uh... Wait, one one circle, just a little bit of combo, whatever it would have been, away from Utami. Absolutely, it just depends on how the map plays. keeps the missing. missing. Flying tuna now. Oh up my to god, it's gonna flick combo. up. It's gonna flick up. Yeah, I it's, think that is it's about higher to flick up. than the combo Joel had in the beginning. Oh, but he breaks oh right there. Oh my god, it's 5k. It's 5k. Barely any map left. Every single break here is gonna matter. Every single 100. Oh, 50s everywhere from both players. It's 3k right now. It's 2k. Oh, there's the SSD end. The slider end. The, nerves. the combos are literally dead it's even. Identical. It's gonna be it's down to 100. It it's gonna be 100 or slider ends. It's literally a k right now. Banty has to SS the rest Francis of the time. Francis comes through and flickers with that 100. It goes over and just from the end. 100. Dude, Tuna takes it! He SS the end and Joel got 1 100 in that last like 10 notes and that was it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Welcome to the finals pool. It's still gonna get harder in grand finals. For the god, record. that is crushing. 1k point difference at the very <laughs> last second. Damn, Tuna really didn't come close to that that combo lead that. Fancy had Fancy just had a few more patterns where he like chain missed than Tuna. Tuna's misses were very, you know, more like spread out. Whereas you lost a lot more score on Fancy Lad's part. So super unfortunate there for Fancy Lad. But just goes to show most of these maps are going to be winnable for, by the player.